Well, this is the uh, cherry that I purchased the other day um, at the uh, Byler's uh, kiln drying uh, lumber yard out here in uh, Middlefield, Ohio. And this was an exceptional board here of uh, eight quarter cherry, oh, about 16 inches wide, and it was 12 foot long. Uh, so we ended up cutting it in half uh, because it'll work out well uh, for the drawer front. So uh, that was a good start there. We got some curly uh, cherry for the tops and uh, some uh, six quarter there for the uh, quarter columns and uh, some miscellaneous uh, stock that we need for drawer blades, etc. So we're ready to go. Um, the sides are 17 and a half inches wide so here's a board uh, that I purchased uh, and it's uh, four quarter the sides I wanted to get uh, uh, out of uh, seven eighths I'm hoping to get uh, seven eighths of an inch sides. so this is a ten foot long board that's uh, over uh, ten inches wide so by cutting this into halves, um, I should be able to glue up the sides and uh, there'll just be one uh, glue line. So doing it carefully and then the making it from the same board should be two very nice sides uh, with this piece of cherry. I might add that the uh, place where we purchased the cherry skip planes uh, everything. So this is as it came from the uh, lumber yard uh, and so it's a sixteenth under an inch uh, right now so I'm hoping that I can uh, get it at uh, seven eighths of an inch so um, I made a story stick here uh, which has the layout of the uh, side of the chest so um, I don't know if you can read it there but you've got uh, the bracket feet the molding the bottom, first blade, first drawer, second blade, etc., etc., goes down here to the top. Uh, so it's marked on the side, and uh, so this assists me in uh, laying out the. Uh, this is the sides, and then later um, we've got to make uh, drawer runners uh, and blades that fit in all of these. So it, this would be a very convenient way to. Uh, mark up the sides and and uh, cut the mortises that are necessary so uh, on cabinets it makes a lot of sense to uh, make a story stick uh, that's what the old timers did uh, they didn't have uh, tape measures uh, so uh, this is a very accurate and a very convenient way to do it so we have a 10 foot board here that I purchased and uh, we're gonna cut it into four pieces uh, uh, and glue, glue them up together and uh, we'll have two sides. Well I cut the one long board into the uh, four uh, equal lengths here and then uh, jointed the edges. I did not uh, run them through the planer since they're already uh, pretty flat and I've only got a sixteenth of an inch to work uh, with since their rough size at the moment is fifteen sixteenths and I want to try and get seven eighths out of these uh, for the sides. Over here uh, I've got one uh, side uh, glued up here with uh, all the clamps and calls on it so uh, I'll let it set for about an hour and then scrape off the excess glue. Flattening the boards with the wide belt sand. got uh, two nice uh, flat panels now and um, I've got to cut them to uh, trim them to actual size so that's the next step. Squaring off the panels with the cross cut slit. So 
So using uh, the marking gauge and dividers here, uh, I laid out uh, the dovetails on the side uh, of the bottom here, and uh, they're just arbitrary uh, to make them come out even. I've got a half uh, or a pin on either end and uh, six tails, so uh, it looks okay, so I think that's what we're going to go with. These, of course, are not seen uh, either, They're, of course, the bottom. So oh, I'm done uh, sawing and chopping out the tails on the bottom and so now I've got to uh, match the sides to it and cut out the pins. I've got the pins marked out here now after uh, lining them up with the uh, tails that I had already cut so it's a matter of cutting them and chopping them out the same way. Fitting uh, one side of the side to the case here. Oh, Yeah. One side done. So there you have it. Um, I've got the bottom and the two sides dovetailed up to it, and uh, it's uh, reasonably solid. Uh, so the next thing to do is to uh, make the, one of the top blades here and dovetail that into the, the top one, we'll two dovetails up front here and then there'll be another piece in the back to uh, hold the, the sides together so that's the next step. Fitting the uh, top blade here so I've uh, put a 5 8 inch dovetail 
on uh, two of them on either side here and uh, so now I've got to chop out the, uh, the, the tails here so uh, that'll be the next step. Uh,